Welcome back. In this video for Blender and its edit mode, we're going to talk more about how you can select multiple faces, edges, and vertices at once for when you have a lot of things you want to grab, but you don't want to sit there with the shift key down clicking on every single face. So here's two awesome tools and one option that will help you out a lot. So I've got my sphere here because it has a lot of faces to work with. I'll hit the tab key. And this is what we don't want to do. I don't want to go face. Uh, let's say I want all these faces up here. I don't want to go right click, shift key, right click, right click, right click, right click. That's annoying. So what I can do is I can hit A, which toggles, by the way, select all and select nothing. And I'm going to use a tool called circle select. So I'm going to go add, whoops, select, circle select. This is just C on the keyboard. That's the shortcut. So I'm just going to hit C. C. You'll see a circle pops up. I can scroll the mouse to make the circle bigger or smaller. And basically, this is the one rare time in Blender you use the left mouse button. But when I use the left mouse button now, anything that's over gets selected. So you'll see here I can go and grab those. you got to be careful you don't grab too much. And that's basically it. If you want to deselect something, you can actually hold the shift key down and it does the opposite. It unselects. Now when you're finished with this, you just hit the right mouse button or the enter key. <clears throat> and there you go. You've got all those things selected. Let's say I decide to move them up. Scale. A bit bigger. I don't know what that is. Sort of a mushroom potted thing. I don't know. But whatever, right? That sort of shows you the basics. Now let's use the same idea. If I want to do a selection of a whole bunch of points down here, let's say I want everything. So let's go A to clear it off. Let's say I want everything from this line downwards. I want everything here. Well, there's a little problem with circle select. I'll do it really quickly, but if I go circle select and I start painting, you'll notice it grabs everything that I can see. But when I right click and turn the model, it hasn't grabbed the stuff on the back. Now true, I can keep doing circle select if I want, okay? But there's a better way to do this, okay? So I'm gonna clear this out by hitting A. And the better way to do this is with this little option here. Limit selection to visible. Watch what happens to my model when I hit this. It becomes sort of see-through. It's showing me the backside of the model, right? It's become transparent. So watch that again. When you have the selection set to this mode, okay, that you can see through the model, what it'll do is everything I paint over is going to become selected. So watch this. If I go to circle select now and I start to circle select, I know I went a little too far, but you'll get the idea. It's gone around. Right click. It's gone and grabbed everything. Now, I know I messed up a little there, but I can always fix that with another C for circle select. There we go. Okay, and it grabs everything. That's not a bad option, and then usually you would turn that off. Whoops, right click. Turn that off if you're done with it. And then whatever you want to do with this, you know, do it. I'll just pull it down or move it up, right? And you got your model. Not too bad. Now, before we go in this video, you saw there when I did circle select C, there was also another selection mode called border select B. This one can be really useful as well, so I may as well show you this one. Let me go backwards a step. I'll just go to there. Now, check this out. With my model selected here, okay, and I got it looking just like that, I'm going to go back to the see-through selection mode, and I'm going to try this border select, B. So I press B. I get a little cursor. I'm going to go left-click, drag, let go, and look at that. Pretty well everything behind that box or inside that box was just selected. So that's even easier than the circle select, right? And of course, it can be useful at times. Just to show you when that can be useful, 
you're going to learn to do stuff like this. I can hit the little X key. I can delete the faces. And you'll see I just chunked off, you know, half the sphere that I didn't really want. Not too bad, right? So this video, the basics. Circle select, border select, and the see-through select, which lets you grab things behind the faces that are closest to you. That's a good one. Thanks for watching.